What is happening YouTubers? We've got a exciting kind of unboxing first impressions video it just came in the mail and I took it out of the package because he likes to watch someone open a box but very very cool been waiting on this knife for a while this is the sharp by design um, mini excuse me micro typhoon so I had a mini typhoon at one point and this is the micro typhoon so these have just started shipping out uh, recently and it comes in this nice little padded uh, protective box which is nice touch with Brian's contact information there came nicely packaged in this and I got the black PVD with the bone white um, G10 overlay so inlay I guess it's more of an inlay but I wanted something different a lot of new a lot of people are gonna get carbon fiber uh, so I got the uh, the black one we'll call it um, PVD black PVD with a bone white uh, inlay you have a three inch drop point blade made of M390 with a belt ground satin on there. And these are made by Riot Knives, um, which is a, a fantastic choice by Brian. He wanted to make a, um, a more affordable version of his custom. And, you know, for a long time he would didn't want it to outsource to China. And if you listen to the Knife Snuffs podcast, which he's on, you know, you would know that he's not a huge fan of that. But um, I'm glad he did because... You have a very affordable version of his terrific design, and I think this is just a great size too, because the floor, the full size Typhoon is about a four inch blade. Then you have the mini, which was kind of not mini; it was more like a normal size, you know, kind of a larger knife itself. It was like three and a half inches. This one coming in at three inches is kind of right, um, right in the sweet spot. It's just about the right size. So, uh, some di some different changes on this. Um, so they, they did use, a, he does have a new style of pocket clip, which is a screwless design, but this is a deep carry clip, which is nice. The other one kind of sat about that far down the frame. So that's a nice improvement there that I like to see. Um, you have your, the locks, the lock insert is a single screw uh, design and it is running with his integral detent on that. So Jim, um, you do have a titanium backspacer back here that has a little bit of jimping, but it's, it's so inset in the frame, you don't really notice the jimping, I don't think. It does have a nice custom pivot, which is a great touch here, and you have stainless steel bearings on this. So the cost on these guys, the M390 um, version was $350, and the damage steel was $550, and that's about right in line with um, a lot of makers that are using Riot knives, um, like the Pina X series here that I've got. We'll just do a comparison in size there. That one's 365, so you know a little bit bigger knife, uh, but this one does have better materials. So I think the price is really good, actually. Uh, while we're while we've got this out, we'll do some size comparisons. The Wee Knife Rectifier, very 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 similar size knife. You can see there, and let's move that up. I think the ZT0900 is going to be probably the closest. The Rectifier is just a titch bigger. The 0900 is just about there, so. Give you some guys some size comparisons. It's roughly um, I don't have a small Sabenza anymore, which I need to get another one because I love them. But it's roughly that same size. So you have a three inch blade there, and your handle length is going to be probably right under four inches, is my guess. If I had to guess, actually no, it's about three and three and three quarters. Let's just go like this. Yeah, just over three and a half inches. So. Not quite three and three quarters, so it's a smaller handle. But the great thing is, and if you have a smaller, um, if you have medium, like I've, I wear a medium glove, don't have huge hands or anything, and it's just right enough enough handle. I mean, just the right amount. I don't feel cramped. Doesn't feel like I have a third finger, you know, hanging off or anything. It's not too small. When I first opened it, I was like, oh gosh, this thing's teeny, and there's no way. But it fits the hand just about perfect. I really, really like the size. So I wouldn't go any smaller than this for sure, but. Um, very, very good size. Has a great detent on it. Uh, one thing I loved about the Typhoon is that the blade is completely com enclosed in the handle. I love that on knives because it makes for a really, really slim carry. Let's do some measurements here. I mean, you're probably, you're definitely less than a half inch. I mean, it's probably 0 0.4, yeah, 0 0.41 uh, as far as the, the handle width. And then the closed length, or measurement, is less than an inch, it's 0.9. So it's very slim and very slender. Look at that black and white, I think it looks so good. A little tuxedo finish. 
um, that the PVD is kind of like a stone washed uh, PVD coating so that will not show a lot of wear which is great and I really like that white uh, G10 that looks really good I'm assuming that's G10 he didn't really specify so these are not available anymore the pre-orders have all shipped out I believe or they're shipping out now and they were a little bit behind I think on schedule I think he was trying to shoot for like a June time frame here we are August so not too bad but he, you know, Riot doesn't make knives in large quantities um, like Wee Knives or something. They, they do these, you know, runs of small batches for for makers, but they do it so they can make a top quality knife. I mean, they are, like I mentioned, and I haven't published my Pina X series review. It will be out this later this week. But I do mention in that review of how Ria is really just the top of their knife game. They really are. And for custom makers to really trust their um, designs in their hands says a lot. Um, some custom makers are definitely more willing to sell to other manufacturers their designs to reproduce. But I've noticed a lot of a lot of makers like uh, Leon Ma, um, Brian, uh, Enrique Pena, Tashi Barusha, name a few, have chosen Riot, I think, because they trust the quality that they'll do. And they know that they're going to represent their brand and their design well. So definitely uh, they have accomplished that here on the Micro Typhoon. Just first impressions are fantastic. Everything is looks very, very nice. I mean, I'd hate to say this, but it looks, I mean, it's just, I feel like I don't have my Micro Typhoon anymore and I'm selling it. Or, excuse me, Mini Typhoon, because it was a little bit larger than I wanted. But I would say this quality level is, is, is just as high um, as that was. So, And I think, um, I know that Re Brian actually said in his, in his website on, it, on his description of these that he, he felt like that Riot was the only man. He actually didn't even specify who the maker was. Um, but, you know, they exceeded all of his expectations and they made a knife, you know, up to his standards. So, And I would say the same thing with Enrique Pena and, and the other ones we talked about. So, Micro Typhoon, um, it's lightweight. Um, what does it weigh? <sighs> Not a lot, it's teeny. It's very lightweight. There is no milling on the insides, but I don't think it needs it because of the size. 2.7 ounces, I mean, I don't know if you wanna go lighter than that, you, you could, but 2.7 ounces is, is just featherweight. You're not even gonna know you have it on you. Let's see how that pocket clip works. Actually, I haven't even carried it. I just got it in the mail. So I've just opened it and flipped it a few times and then decided to do a video right away on it. So, oh yeah, that works nicely. So nice deep carry clip and has um, good retention on the pants. Really good retention, actually. Um, but it's not, yeah, that slides right on there really easily. No problems at all. So that's a great pocket clip design. It's got enough flex. It doesn't have a lot of gap um, because it's not... Like a you know a thicker uh, like let's look, look at this Wii right here. This is definitely a, a, a more robust clip, and it has a lot more gap. But with the flexibility of this clip, you don't need that. So, but what's nice about it is it sits nearly flush. You just have a little bit that sits up right there. Whereas, like on the Wii here, it sits up quite a bit more. So there there is some advantages to that type of design. So yeah, uh, first impressions guys are fantastic. Great flipping action. Um, I'm sure it'll break in even more. The D10 is crisp. It's nice. Right where I'd expect it with three out knives. The flipper tab design that Brian does is definitely conducive to good flipping. Like, you can't really not flip these knives. I mean, even if it didn't have a very strong D10, the way the flipper tab works, um, it's just you can light switch it. You can push button it as well. It works actually probably better, I would say, even than the, well, they're about the same. So it's not like drop shut closed, but it's smooth, and it, I'm sure it'll break in a little bit more. It is literally brand new. Centering is perfect, right on. Um, a lot, of, and a lot of that drop free is going to have to do with that detent design as well. So love the custom pivot. The hardware is is nice. I kind of would have liked to see black, I think, um, but it works just fine. That way, you only had to do one hardware for both knives. I understand why they did that. They also had a damascus steel version of this knife um, that I, that ran 550. Um, and then, like I said, the the plain titanium, the gray titanium with the carbon fiber inlay. Um, same blade still though, M390 on both. So, gotta love the M390. It's kind of the the new crave these days. Got a beautiful swedge right here. 
that I really, really like on this. So this is literally just a shrunken down version of the Typhoon I had, and I really, really like it. I think this is, you know, a great size. Um, you could even go a little bit larger with a three and a quarter inch blade, but I think, you know, with how many offerings he's done, I think he's probably done with the Typhoon um, design. So I think this, this is good. I mean, if you like smaller knives, don't have huge hands, this is going to be fine. But if you do have bigger hands, you know, you may want to go with the Mini Typhoon. If he does another run of those, I'm not sure if he's going to, or if he's going to have maybe Riot do that knife as well. I would like to see that. I'm sure a lot of people would. Uh, again, I would say the close size comparison here is the Wii Rectifier, which is one of my favorite EDC knives. They're about the same as far as blade length and um, handle length are concerned. The Wii is probably a little bit bigger, but I like smaller knives. So if you don't, then this is probably not the knife for you. But you probably knew that going into this. Um, this is not like one that you can, this is just more of a kind of an you're lucky to get on the pre-order kind of thing. I don't know if there's going to be another run of these knives or what, but I think it's fantastic. I'm, I'm definitely going to carry and use this one. I like this one quite a bit. I've been waiting for it for a while. I was really excited when he announced they were doing the import line of these made by Riot. So uh, my, my, I've been on a spree of Riot knives lately, and I tell you what, they have just been top notch. I could literally probably just buy Riot designs and be happy with my knives. <laughs> I'm dead serious. There's a lot of other good knives out there, so I'll continue to buy them, but they just make such a high quality blade for the, um, and they're not cheap. I mean, 350 for this is not inexpensive, but considering what the customs cost versus what this costs, um, versus the, what the materials made on the level of craftsmanship, I'd say the pricing's right where it should be. So, all right, guys, let me know what your thoughts are on the Micro Typhoon. I'm pretty stoked about this guy. Um, let me know if you got one or what variation you got and, you know, your kind of thoughts on that and your thoughts on Riot Knives and, and Brian's designs. I'd like to hear them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.